Hello everyone, welcome back to this video. So in this video, we are going to learn how to use ECC elliptic curve cryptographic algorithm in Java. So ECC is a public key cryptographic algorithm which is based on the algebraic structure of ellipse curves over the finite fields. So it is uh, same like uh, RSA algorithm but it uses smaller key sites which make it much more efficient on a resource limited environment uh, such as mobile devices and embedded devices where we can implement ECC as a public key cryptographic algorithm. So without too much uh, talking, let us implement our Java code to use ECC algorithm. So I have already created a asymmetric cryptographic package. So under this package, create a Java class called ECC example, example.java. So this is our main uh, class where we are going to implement our ECC algorithm for encryption and decryption of user data. So let us define our main method here. And in step one, we will ask for a user input from a keyboard. We will use a scanner class. Enter a message to encrypt using ECC. And then we will uh, take a user input and store it in a user message variable as a string data type user message is equal to in dot next line. So this is our first step where we ask for the user to provide the input message. And our next step is to uh, generate a key pair. So we need to generate a key pair that is public key and private key. Step to generate an ECC key pair. To generate ECC key pair, we will use key pair class. Key pair from Java security framework. Key pair is equal to generate key pair so so generate key pair uh, is going to be our static method where we will return a pair of key from this method and store those key pair into a key pair variable so let us import this one as well and let us create a static method here so the static method can be defined using public static the return type of this method is again key pair, key pair class, generate key pair. So to generate a key pair, we need to uh, get an instance of EC and so key pair generator, key pair generator is equal to key pair generator dot get instance so we will call ec and bc here so our algorithm will be the ec and the provider will be the bc that is bc means bc stands for bouncy castle so bouncy castle is a security provider it is a java library that we need to configure to use bc so to configure java so let us switch to a website called bouncycastle.org so we need to download the security provider called bouncy castle so download this one so after a uh, completion of the download, we need to add this Java file to our project. So to add this, so I'm using Java 1.8. So just go here and open library settings. And in the library section, uh, just add the library. So I have uh, copied this BC provider in desktop. So just add this one as I have already added. And paste okay. So after that, what we can do is we can provide the BC library by using the security dot add provider and the constructor name of our security provider that is bouncy castle provider, which is this one. Okay. And let us also add exceptions handling in our main method by using throws exception okay. 
and also add uh, the no algorithm exception and no provider exception as well or you can just delete this one and add the generic exception here okay so so now it's time to uh, provide the elliptic curve specifications uh, we can do that by using ECGN uh, parameter spec class EC, EC spec equal to new EC thing spec and let us provide SECP to 5 6k1 so this is the ellipt elliptic curve specifications that we need to provide and pass to the key here in generator initialize method EC spec and after that we can return our key pair generator dot generate key here so uh, we have now our key so that we can have our key as a private key and public key private key private key equal to key pair dot get private and public key public key as key pair dot get public Okay. So in step three, after having our public and private key, we can perform encryption on our message. So to uh, implement an encryption, let us create a static method called encrypt here. So public started and the return type will be an array of byte and the method name will be encrypt and in this method we will pass our original message and a public key for encryption public key and we will also add exception handling as well so uh, to uh, implement an encryption we need to import a cipher cipher by using cipher class is equal to cipher dot get instance and the instance will be our ECIES and the BC so ECIES is the elliptic curve integrated encryption scheme and BC is the provider that is bouncy castle So this is throats. Now let us initialize our cipher using cipher.init method and initialize our cipher in encryption mode. Cipher.encrypt mode and let us pass our public key. After initialization, now it's time to do uh, the encryption by using do final method and we need to pass a message message dot get bytes in byte format and we can return this in the form of byte array cipher text so this method implement uh, the encryption so we can call this the string byte array uh, cipher text equal to encrypt so our message is uh, the user message the user message and key is public key so we can print uh, using s out system out print ln s out Original message is test. Okay. So let us run our program to test the encryption.
So as you can see, so this is the encrypted ciphertext. So let us implement our decryption in step four. So again, to implement decryption, let me create another static function called decrypt. String original text decrypt cipher text and a private key. So we are going to uh, create the static meta here. Public static return type will be string and the signature name is decrypt. Byte array. Cyber text, private key, private key, close, exception. So we need to do the same thing. Cipher, cipher dot it instance. So the transformation will be ECIES and the provider is bouncy castle. DC. And after that, we need to initialize our cipher in decryption mode. Decrypt private key, and we need to return our data using cipher dot to final. Cipher text. Cipher text. new string so we need to convert buffer into string data type by using a string constructor so this method is complete now we can call this method here as you can see in the descriptions so let us print out description or decoded information using the decoded information using private e page Plus original text. So let us run our code again. So this is our uh, message. The ciphertext of this message is this one, and the original decoded message uh, from the ciphertext is "Hello world, please encrypt this message using elliptic curve cryptography." So thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much.